these days I don't really care for all that empty Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I will be doing a makeup tutorial today. As you can see here, I'm trying to show you it's the designer foundation which you can get at Woolworths and then the pro concealers and then here we've also got the setting spray which is from Mr. Price. Okay guys, disclaimer. Here I'm trying to uh, start with I start with my base. Um I started with the foundation here I was not supposed to be doing the setting power setting spray on my face because as you can see here I tried to blend it into my skin it was not moving at all so I ended up changing my brush instead of using the beauty blender as you can see here uh, the brush ended up working nicely um, it also worked on my skin it went through so this makeup foundation is says it's a maximizing coverage so as you can see here it really complements my skin it goes nicely with my skin tone so it is a perfect match for me so i'm not sure if the foundation is still available at woolworths but yeah this foundation i got it like a year ago at woolworths and then here i'm using the pro concealer the la girl in the almond um shade um i did it i uh, as you can see here i'm going to be highlighting my under eyes i'll be doing also my bridge of my nose and then also my cheeks no sorry not my cheeks my we also doing at the bottom of my lip and what's the name man i forgot it <laughs> The chin, I also highlighted my chin and then I used the dark one here, which is going to be on my cheeks, under my cheeks, uh, your bit in between your neck and your face. So, and then also I highlighted uh, my forehead. So, this brush that I'm using here, it's from Mr. Price. It was the collaboration with uh, the Tandi Tibet, the Tibet family. The Tabeta sisters, so yeah, this was their um campaign that they did with Mr. Price. So yeah, I tried to use this brush. This brush was really spiky. Um, it was really irritating under my eyes because the brushes are really really sharp. So they did say it was for contouring, but I don't think it is because that brush was really really brutal on my on my under my eyes so I ended up changing I used this beauty blender here which I got from Discam. if you know you know this beauty blender it was trending a lot for for a couple of years um it's just that I need to like restock again on this beauty blender but I think they still are at Woods. sorry not at Woods, at Discam. so yeah um, I try to blend highlight each and every part that you can see here I did under my eyes I did my nose I didn't also under my nose and I also did my chin as well now I'm doing my forehead um, don't mind these harsh lines guys um, they're quite tricky there because um, they're not matching nicely with my foundation but I will try and fix them as you can see here now i'm going to the darker concealer i am trying to um, contour my cheeks and then also here in between my neck and then now i'm also going to be doing my forehead as well the perimeter of my head so i'll be doing that as well oh that huge pimple on my side guys don't mind that and it's not even my period pimple I don't know what's going on my skin is breaking out so I'm using now I'm gonna highlight my eyes again I'm gonna be using the same concealer which is from the LA girl but I'm using medium beige that's the that's the shade color of the concealer that I'm using so I'm trying to highlight my eyes to make my eyes pop out more a bit and then so I did my under my I did under my eyes and then I also did 
on my nose as you can see here i'm not highlighting my forehead again because there's no need so these are the parts that i really want to be highlighted more to pop out more as you can see here i'm using the same uh, beauty blender the beauty sponge so we're going to be trying to fix all those harsh lines um, i'm going over again with the beauty blender as you can see and then i will be setting all that foundation all that highlights with the translucent powder which is from maybelline um i don't know what color shade the the translucent powder is but i think it's that pure pure not pure it's your lighter shade um it's not like your caramel tone but this is the very light one so i try to set my whole face um as you can see here but i'm still doing my forehead as we go around with it and then we will not be um putting any more powder we just need to set 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 but here i went again with the setting powder uh, i did my cheeks um, it doesn't matter if you're going over your your um, contour areas. You'll see what we'll do afterwards to bring out that um, contour. So we did under my eyes again. We go through it as we punch through. <laughs> Not punch through. We And then here, I'm trying to define my contour on my cheeks. As you can see here, this line that I'm creating. Um, there's a lot of people who are doing this and I understand why they're doing it because they want their contour to be seen and be defined. So yeah, we don't go anymore with the powder. We keep just patting it through with the remaining powder that's on the sponge that I'm using here. The sponge is quite nice. Um, it's very quick because it's very small and you can even maneuver yourself around it and then now i'm going to be doing the highlights and defining my contour so this is the uh contour and glow palette which was uh, which i got from mr price um i'm using the warm enough shade but the palette is dark it's dark it's the dark shade so here I'm trying to define my nose. So we take it up from the eyebrows down to the nose. So you can make it a bit snatch my nose. I don't know where I got this, but I've seen a lot of uh, content creators doing this. So yeah, and then I also contour my cheeks. <laughs> a lot of people like to do this thing on their face where they like... <sighs> they snatch their face they like pull their faces and make these funny faces so here i'm setting everything um i'm using the same shade palette which is the glow palette in the dark shade i'm using the warm enough um shade color and then here i go over again with my brush but this was the uh, foundation brush so i'm taking away all the harsh lines on my face that you you saw when I was highlighting and then here I'm just using an old mascara which doesn't have any product on it so I'm just brushing up my eyebrows as you can see here and then I'm using the brown um, pencil which is from Essence I just don't remember what the shade of the the eye pencil was the eyebrow pencil was um, but I think it would be your dark brown or you could use your uh, Mac which is your mocha if I'm not mistaken it was a mocha yeah that would work nicely and then here the concealer that you saw it was the one from Mr. Price uh, the, the that was the um the, I'm so I'm here I'm cleaning up my my eyebrows uh, the palette that I used it was the quick fix which was also from Mr. Price as well um, it's the dark shade that I'm using so I try to use the lighter one so I can like brighten up my my eyebrows 
under my eyebrows so i'm just cleaning it up here we are going to go over that um that contour with that we did on my for the bridge of my nose and stuff it doesn't matter we'll go back again on it as you will see throughout the video um so we're cleaning it up here when it comes to eyebrows guys this takes time so i didn't want to rush but when it came to the video i was like you know what i'm just gonna fast forward everything and so i'm really really sorry guys that um this whole video is really fast forwarding um i know it's not supposed to be like that but i felt uguti if i don't this whole get ready with me was gonna take long so i ended up fast forwarding everything so yeah I'm jamming also here <laughs> through the music that I'm listening to. And then we try and set our face, as you can see. I'm using the translucent powder, which was the lighter one, which I was using for my highlights. So we're setting that whole concealer on our on our, on our our eyebrows. So on our lids, on our eyelids. So we're going to go again with the dark um we're mm, using the dark contour and glow palette which i'm also trying to fix i'm trying to fix my the bridge of my nose again so we can like fix that up again and then we're going to be using this palette the eyeshadow palette um i don't remember the name but i i think it was cover naked in number three yeah it's the eyeshadow palette but it had a lot of colors in it but here uh, the color that I used it was the brown the light brown not the light light brown but it's close to my to my foundation so here I try and put that shade all over the eyelids as you can see here um, I did both sides and then I'll be using this other color here and then I went back again to using the contour and glow palette i just wanted to define my eyelids um as you can see here i go in um i'm just highlighting it out i'm just trying to make my eyes pop more and then i'm going to be using the same palette again the eyeshadow palette i'll be using this copper color as you can see here um i'm not sure if it's copper yeah i think it's copper it has this shimmer in it so we do that at the bottom of our eye uh, midway we don't do the whole eyelid so we're just doing half of it it's like we're doing your um what do you call this it's like we're doing um a cut crease but it's not so i'm not doing any um cut crease that you would like me to put um your 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 concealers but this one it's just using your eyeshadows without the concealer to define the 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 cut crease and then i go over again with the dark um the darker shade but i'm using the contour and glow palette again which is your warm enough uh color and then here i try to put some color some shiny shimmer on my on the teardrops uh, which the palette that I'm using there it was the essence palette you are gold the palette highlighting palette that I use I'm rocking to my music there and I go back again but this is a different um, uh, powder that I'm using so it's we're going to be setting everything that palette that that um, powder that i'm using the translucent powder that i'm using it's also from maybelline uh it's not maybelline those palettes that i'm using sorry guys they are yardly so that palette that i'm using it was the caramelized which i set my whole face and i also forgot to show you guys i also highlighted my nose i think i went a bit extra there <laughs> and then here the lips i did the pencil um, the pencil that I used for my my eyebrows and then here I used the lipstick 
which I got from Signature. It was the pink one. And then also at the bottom, it has a small, um, um, what's the name? It has this small, um, lip gloss on it. So it has, it's the lipstick is matte. So here I'm setting my face. Sorry that I'm rushing guys. So here I'm setting my face with the, um, setting spray from Mr. Price. It has a bit of shimmer in it. So yeah, it's bringing, so that's why I ended up also powdering it off a bit because the shining was too much. It has a bit of shimmer in it. So yeah, this is how my face looks. And another thing I forgot to do, my mascara. So the mascara that I'm using, it's also from Essence. Uh, the name of the, the mascara is Double Trouble. So I did my eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, bye.